Everything in a life is a one button. However, if you know the mentor who can ask you to push the right button at the right time, that's everything. <laughs> One button. Thank you. How have you been? How's your you been busy? Everything good? I, I'm I'm so grateful to be on a call with you. Uh, God has been so kind, and I don't even deserve any one of these things. Thank you so much. Okay. So I appreciate good look. You're looking great. What's the secret? You too. Just take it, eat, uh, work a lot, healthy, eating healthy, exercising. Hmm. Good attitude, like you. You look the exact same. You don't age. It's a it's a blessing. Do you know that we are speaking after to each other after almost six years? Crazy. Okay. It's like this. Don't take my word because my team is going to watch all this. Okay. So listen. Okay. I'm not taking it up. Okay. Look at this. Robert. Simon. Last call was May 28, 2018. Today is oh, wow. it's March 16. So it's almost six years. Okay. You're so organized. Yeah, so t tell me all the calls. It's like a three letter agencies where you were when we spoke last time. Where did you say? <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah. Wow. So wow. after six years, how do you speak with your mentor? This so is what do you, what do you, what's the same. Have you been traveling back to Pakistan much? Yes, I was there uh, almost a year ago. I'm ready to go it again. Nice. Yeah. I've been traveling. I live in Medellin, Colombia. I've been everywhere Europe, Africa, Middle East, Miami. New York. So how many time how, how many time you actually travel in a year? Uh, just for anybody else who doesn't know you that much. Every two weeks. I probably did 80 speeches last year. 80 speeches last year? Yeah, all over. But I'm still doing lots of real estate, lots of charity work. Everything's growing. Mm -hmm. It's gotten growing last big, growing spoke, nice. Last time we spoke, you are to you are in 87 countries in some kind of real estate. Including students, your own, and everything. So, what's the number right now? Running number. I think I've been in ninety-three countries now. So, in six years, you only went to five more. You're that selective to go to. A certain I don't know. Probably, probably more. Probably more. I don't know. No, I go to the same ones all the time. With the Project X, my uh, training program, we have uh, Russia, Israel, uh, Ivory Coast, Africa, and uh, England, Europe, New York. New, uh, big group in New York, New Jersey, Florida. Hmm. But I've been starting lots of businesses, also other businesses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me, na name some of them, like a type of projects. Well, the biggest one uh, by accident, complex, is I do some oil trading, jet fuel and diesel, big containers full. Uh, also, a little bit of diamond wholesaling from uh, Dubai, Africa. Legal, of course. Um, then I uh, have an interest in an anti-aging clinic in Medellin, stem cells, ozone, hyperbaric chamber, very cutting edge health things. I'm doing a lot of consulting, mentoring, uh, growing businesses very quickly. Uh, I got named the, the director of the United Nations Culture of Peace. It's a new program, an old program that I'm starting out. We teach people about peace around the world. But other than that, not much. Some more charity stuff. Medellin with the children, homeless people. It's been good. I have a new book coming out called Fast. How to find, analyze, systems, says, turn into profit quickly, start businesses. Let me know when the book is ready. I will be happy to promote it in my across the whole network. Thanks. Are, are you still doing the magazines or is that still uh, everything's online now? No, it's everything online. You, you know, the COVID change, everything. So you remember this? Billionaire Mentor Magazine. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's How about beautiful. That? Yeah. And I am so grateful for you for this book. Remember you wrote the forward? That's right. New yeah. success secrets. How can I forget Robert Shannon? Can I... You are on the front page of my book. <laughs> How can I forget? And what are you spending? <laughs> what are you spending your time doing now, Mohammed? It's so good to <clears> see I, you. I, I'm going to share with you in a moment. Yeah, pardon me. I didn't know we we're going to do a Zoom call. It would have been better prepared. Uh, Understood. It's all good. Go it's ahead. All, it's all good. No complaints, but yeah. you work with what we got. So I'm going to share with you in a moment what I do and I definitely give you the uh, complete update. I have a few clarifying questions what you shared with me. Tell me about the charity work. Please. Let's, let's let's go more specific. Charity work you are doing. Type off how much the reach is. and what. So we're, we're, 
we're still helping uh, street children in Colombia and South America. We feed them, clothe them, house them, educate them. We treat them. We have uh, businesses we teach them. They become entrepreneurs. Some are 12, 14, 16. They start their own business. And I know you with the social economic thing, that was really cool with the platform. And then uh, we're how uh, many, taking how a many, prank- How many people are becoming an entrepreneur in that one? I like to pitch myself. Uh, that, I, I like to support your work. That's why I'm asking all this. You know? Thanks. We've probably done hundreds. So we have a, a thousands. I don't know. We don't keep tracks as well as you do. And then we take pregnant uh, women off the street and we help them have their babies and help them learn how to be moms and give them businesses also. How many of them? People. How many? A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Hundreds, thousands. Okay. A year. Very, very good. I So now you have, I, I always respected you right from day one. Now you have very, very deep respect because it's yeah. not about you it's about empowering others to you know because we are so grateful what we have in our life yeah it's all, it's all about service service yeah yeah what's what's really cool is uh with the real estate we have a lot of young people coming in you know 16 18 22 mm-hmm. doing well that's exciting how many dst students you have in last let's say after covid let's put an after covid thing uh we had a 2700 2100 step Spanish speaking American, mm-hmm. and then we still do Americans international. And we, we really don't keep count. <laughs> mm-hmm. I should. Okay. So, are they looking for any money ever? Time ever, uh, money is very expensive. Uh, yeah, interest rates went up. We're always doing money, uh, hard money loans, money partners, investing. Okay. Down, always, I have some. I'm also doing a little, a little currency trading. Uh, okay. I have a company that uh, has uh, algorithms, bots that are doing very, very well so far. A couple of your track record. Okay, Robert, let's, let me answer your question. I'm, I'm helping them grow. Uh, let me answer your one question, How what I'm doing. I can help all of your investors sure. to get money for their deals. Yes. How can you help us? That money is the key. Capital money. is the key. There's okay. more ideas and opportunities than deals than money. Yeah. The money part, it's not me. You know, I am a source to a network who has declared. You are the best connector, one of the best connectors in the world. Oh, my God. No, I have to take that sound. Whenever I need something, somebody I call you, you always connect me to great people. Yeah. So someone has hundreds of thousands of investors who say, I want to invest this much into this type of real estate, 5%, 6%, 7%. Verified. Yeah. All their like verified phone numbers and emails, not only selling the data, they are helping us to connect with with each other too as well and setting up the meetings with investors. Then they figure out the deal together. You know? So I can help all of your investors, not one, all of your investors to get the deal. Two ways. One is then the equity part. The other part is the lending. My my lending source is doing in a single digit, not on double digit numbers. Wow. They're they're kind of like investor hard hard money lines, which is fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about hard money. However, it's a single digit, like a nine percent, eight percent, not a twelve percent. That's, per- per- that's better than better than most. Perfect. Yeah, and however, they will only work with people. It's based on if somebody is doing a first deal, it's a fifteen percent. If they're doing three deals already, you know that the experience level goes up. It goes down yeah. as low as six percent. Just you know that. Wow. Will yeah. they do a um, non real estate lending, like um, for or all just real estate? Okay, that's only real estate. You may, I say, let Good. me ask a straight question. So, uh, so I can get a value right then and there for their equity portion and plus for the other portion, for the both. I can be a total money solution for you by connecting to two different sources. One will do the debt part, the other one will do the equity part together. You know? That's OP. amazing. Yeah. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, let's look at some deals and start. 100%. I make a connection to both of you, both sides. Amazing. Done. I love it. Thank you. Let's move on to the next thing. What are the non real What else do you spend your time doing besides helping people find money? Okay. What's the next one? And you said non real estate. Tell me more. What is the non real estate? So I have a that, that is that entering for a two year track record and they pay their investors 5% transparent algorithm. And you put money in a brokerage account. They can't touch the money. It's safe. And they're paying 5% uh, return a month because they make more. They're a uh, you know, they're trading every day. They have a two and a half year track record. Unbelievable. Okay. So I'm not interested in that one because I see so many lawsuits and so many scams in that area. So I'm not interested in that one. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that that's the problem. There, I've been approached by like a hundred of them. Ninety nine percent are scams. But uh, I used to trade, and they're they're they have a track record, transparent, real people, real uh, safety in place. Uh, but yeah, I understand. And, let uh, me let me ask that, you that, let me ask a clarifying question on that one. How much your own money is invested into that platform? Me, uh, with a partner, uh, uh, with a partner of two hundred thousand okay. dollars. we tested them for a while. How long? How long? With a track record testing. How long ago? Uh, we have a two-year track record. No, Give they have a few a months. Record. How long ago you invested? I'm asking you. Uh, about a year. Uh, my partner and I, a year and a half, year okay. and three quarters. Out of almost two, two years. Okay, so planning fine question. I'm not judging anything. Out of two hundred thousand, how much is yours and how much is the partner's equal or is it different percent? No, no, he he put in a little more than me. Yep. Okay, yours is forty nine percent, and his is fifty one percent. No, no, he put in uh, no a little more, like seventy five, twenty five. Okay, understood. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. So you are happy with the results? Just to test them. Yes, and amazing. Are they registered in the U.S. The money brokers thing or the FTC, whatever the number, uh, like the FTD, something, some organization that they have to be. Finra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They can take Americans. They use an Australian, uh, a large brokerage firm out of Australia, giant, huge, very reputable. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I take my word back, <clears throat> but I just said re rejected a few moments ago. I am willing to explore further. Let's put it this way. Okay. Yeah. I'm Look into it. Take, take your time and uh, see what they have. It's very interesting. Yeah. You know, instead of putting them in the bank or, uh, you know, the CD or the whatever. Yeah. So, you know, and I, I've done stuff like you, hard money lending, real estate lending, but the rates are so much better with the currency. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Anyway, we'll check it out. Okay. What else is there? You mentioned about E2 visa thing and franchises. That's why they, we mentioned for two minute call yesterday. So tell me more. Yeah. I had a friend, uh, you may know him, Dave Van Hoos, speaker. Yeah. You I know, know Dave Van Hoos. Tampa thing. Yeah. He was doing uh, some franchise, not so much anymore, for e E2, E-Visas. And I have some students, both from uh, the Middle East, South America, who might be interested in the franchises. Okay. Let me... Let... Plus I, have, I, have, I have someone who also wants to franchise a business. Okay. But, you know, because of all my contacts, I'd love to find out what... Yeah. So, in the U.S., there's a 4,500 franchisors, like a brand... Who are looking for to looking to grow yes. right now? Okay, in the US right now, I have access to all of them. Okay. Nice. So you make people to the best price. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And my, I have a certain criteria, investor grade criteria. I'm not looking for any franchising. I'm looking for the right ones, which is investor grade, like a bank will invest into this one. You know. And I'm going to share my screen and yep. share with you how, what that criteria look like. I will also give you the link too, so you can see it how they look like. Okay. Oh. Thank you. Yes, send me the link. And um, and I'm familiar with the business. You know, I'll tell you a little history. You know where Franchise started in America? Okay, go for it. I'm listening. Holiday Inn, Kevin's Wilson, Memphis, Tennessee, where I'm from. So Memphis, where I'm from, was supposedly one of the first uh, in the 50s, I believe. And they started franchising. It was so funny. When they started, people thought it was a crime, a scam, illegal. Now it's like super... You know, McDonald's, Wendy, every, you know, like super acceptable. But Kevin's Wilson, a friend of my father's who started Holiday Inn, supposedly was one of the first franchises. A little bit of history, supposedly. Supposedly, okay. I'm well, not a professor. Uh, yeah, understood. I'm going to share my screen and show you my investor criteria. It's, it's a great business model. Win-win win, win for people. It's a great 100%, business model. 100% win-win. I'm going to share my screen. One second. And that's what I always liked about you. Everything you do is win, win, win. Hundred percent. You're always very fair, Otherwise, very giving. I have no interest if it's, everybody's not winning. I am not in the deal. I'm out. Right. About right. It. I love that. That when I first met you, that's what brought us together. I love that your attitude. Same here. Yes. So I tell investors, here's what I'm looking for. Okay. I will share you the link yep. too, so you can read it. It's simple. My criteria is any brand has to be Amazon proof. Amazon not cannot touch it. Okay. And the second that, thing I never thought that very important. Yeah, and the second thing is AI proof. AI is something new. It's bigger than Amazon. <laughs> AI cannot touch that brand. That's what we are looking for. Okay. And then there nice. are 
total yearly income divided by total investment, including the down payment plus the loan, whatever, the, it should be 0.5 or higher, aka I want my money back in two years or less. That's a great business. If you do it okay. three or four, you're doing great. Yeah, so I'm saying if even two years or less, if it's even a one month more, don't even bring it to me. I have a zero interest in speaking with them. That's investor grade, my under, underwriting criteria, okay? Nice. And then I tell them not interested in food and guns, okay? I want peace. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's my personal. I tell them my personal. I, I'm not saying you should not do it. I'm just saying to, to me because I tell them I'm looking for this type yeah, of sure. only. So preferred service-based business with less overhead. That's just preference is not required. Okay. okay. And in my case, I'm looking in at Atlanta and 200 mile radius. I open to consider anywhere in US. It's just my preference. Somebody could be in Dubai. It doesn't really matter where that is. Okay. I'm just saying it for myself. Mm -hmm. And they have to be at least franchisor. The brand has to be minimum in five years in franchising because first five years, the 40% failure rate. I want to be out of that one. Yeah. So then, yeah, they make all any business, even mine, we make all the mistakes the first three to four years. Yeah. I, I don't want to try anything. I don't want to be the next victim. I'm not a first victim. I don't want to be the next victim. I want to be <laughs> or, like SBS is 90% business fail in two years. 40% yeah. franchises fail in five years. I want to be five years plus. Just get out of the risk. Okay. Yeah. And then they have done at least a investor model. Like I'm talking about five years and plus already. So I want to see, talk to the previous investors. Hey, what has been for you? Five years. And they have at track least record. 10 franchises location track record. This is nice. a idea. Yeah. Okay. At least 10 of them already sold and five years plus. If they have not done it, I'm not interested. Excellent. That's the underlighting my criteria. I will review very, the track very good yeah, I will say I will review well, and validate with at least 10 franchises for each franchiser before I make a decision to invest. I'm not saying I'm going to make invest. I will say before I make a decision, decision could be yes, and decision could be no, but that's my criteria. Smart. I also How long have you been franchises now? How long have yeah. you been? Let involved? me just finish. I answer all of your questions. Don't oh. worry. Okay. Thank you. I, I'm already looking at this company. I tell them, hey, don't bring me this company. I already, I already have the relationship with them. Through someone else, that, that option is no longer available for you at this time. So don't bring me this company, okay? In other words, I'm telling them, I know how this market works. I'm just giving them the example, okay? So, and I tell them, I have other investors like myself who like to invest independently looking for the same, happy to make introductions to two of them at appropriate time. That's like a, hey, you need to work with me. I can open the doors for you. You're Quality serious. Question. I'm serious. Yes. Each one of us has access to 150K US and net worth of 300K. Some has millions, but I don't want to talk about millions. I say, just little one, just show me something. You know. Next step. When, not now, when you have anything matches to the above, schedule a call on my calendar. You're welcome to call me or text me. I'm based in Atlanta since 2003. They want to know who's Muhammad Siddiq. You know, you, you have to answer that question, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not another scam. So more on me at this website, check it. You will see Robert Sherman over there too. You know what I'm talking about. So connect with me on social media. Mm -hmm. Check me everywhere and here's my information. So I tell them everything. I have, I'm founder and built and sold four, four exits successfully blah, 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 and publish author and this. Okay, that's what I'm telling them. So I will share with this link as well with you so you can actually review it and you know share with anybody. It's a public. I'm, I'm a part. So that's a level of my intake. Not let's chat. I have an idea. No, follow this one and then we talk. If it doesn't follow, don't call me. Don't No need to do anything. Yeah. Okay. Have you done any seminars for, for franchises? I'm doing every Saturday at, uh, in Ramadan, I'm doing at 2 p.m. East Coast every Saturday. However, I have not really done any public seminars. I'm open to it. I want to do it. I don't want to travel like you. That will be my wife will kill me. I have a beautiful <laughs> one. Okay. I don't want to do it like you. I will have a jet lag for next one month. I don't want to. I'm very miserable in that. I'm not a very good traveler. Let's put it this way. I understand. Yeah. I remember. So, I yeah, there's what, 5 million people in Atlanta now? 5 million in Atlanta yes. area? Yes. Yeah. You got plenty. You Robert, never have to leave. Can, Robert, can you make a promise to me when you come to Atlanta next time? 
I buy you a coffee. I will make you a coffee. Okay, you buy me coffee, I'll buy you dinner. <laughs> no problem. I'll make you a coffee. How about this? I'll buy you dinner. <laughs> okay. So, so let's let's uh, meet. So let's meet even for one dinner time. That's okay. I, it has been too long. Six years is too big of a big gap. Yeah, I miss you. Miss, miss seeing you. Yeah, yeah. because I'm, I, I, are you also familiar? I know they changed the laws. I'm not a immigration lawyer with visa franchise. It's a, it's a possibility for some people, correct? For uh, people looking. The E2? You're talking about E2 visa? Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah, E2 visa laws are not really changed much. I'm not an attorney, so I can't say that. I have access to uh, very top attorneys and who are specialized from Middle East and other great countries. Yeah. And they have done for 30 years only E2, and they're really, really good. And I can make introduction to that too. I'd like to find out more if there were some of my clients from South America, the Middle East. They're interested. Uh, they've asked me about it. Yeah, I, I can make introductions and, you know, and... They can use them, and I can always facilitate that part. I have a very good team. They can be a dedicated person yeah. helping them navigate the, through the process. I can make introduction to as many as needed. And that's what you're focusing a lot on is helping people get good franchises? Yeah, good franchises with this type of criteria. And when they make money, we make we make money too, and, and they're part of the whole transaction. We are part of the transaction for a long yeah. time. I would love to uh, uh, do some with you. That'd be very nice. Yeah. I'm always yours, Robert. Yeah. Yeah. So, yes, send me a little program uh, and we can figure something out. I'm serious. Um, I have a lot of people in South America asking me about franchises and um, wanting to yeah. come to the U.S., some of them at least. So, let's, uh, let's, do one, let's do one little uh, online Zoom webinar. Let's schedule it. Okay. Where I will invite yeah. my people and you invite your people too, and you speak, and I'll, I'll just pitch in my part, and I can bring two other people too, just like a, the top authorities. Yeah. Okay. Now, that someone who's done 300 transactions. Can, you, can you show me a, a few of the franchises you've done recently or the ones you like? I can send you a list. Everybody's different. I can send you a list. Yeah, just curious. I, I can send you and a list. I know every investor is different, every franchise is different, it's matching. I can send you a list of every brand. Yeah. We have the contract with, which matches this Amazing. Credit, which matches this credit. At least sixty of them yeah. right now. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody can cannot come to US. They can buy a franchise in Dubai and Saudi Arabia and Israel and uh, wherever. You know, I have franchises sure. who want to go internationally. Not everybody want to come to US. It's not really not everybody's desire. You know, for family reason, this. My old neighbor was the uh, Dean, DeLu Dean DeLuca, the founder of Subway. Oh, okay. And I did some work with the head of franchising for them, but there that's a lot of work to own a Subway. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and we, have, we have a completely different model. Uh, Robert, we love veterans. We put them into operator. Okay. Uh, veterans, they have served us on the front line. Okay. It does not matter you agree with the wall. Listen to this. We have a, an organization. We help veterans. Uh, with their pain and their uh, stress and their trauma. Mm -hmm. I love veterans. Okay. I love that you said that. Yeah. So they served we work with us a lot on, of veterans. I yeah. Didn't... Robert, they served us on a front line. So we can live like this. Okay. This is our turn yeah. to go to them, put them into a business. They, if they can manage the bullet on the front line, managing few people and running yeah. stuff, nothing for them. Yeah. Okay. They know nice. how to I love that. Yeah. So we not only we put them into a franchise ship, I will arrange the money part too. So the down payment, they only need like a 1% or 2% or 5% only. I will put the remaining all amount. I have millions of dollars. Man, let's, I would love to help you with that. We love veterans. Yeah. So, and plus it's so easy to put them in the media. Media can't say no to them. You know that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So we solve that whole puzzle. We make them a brand in the local area. Hey, I'm a veteran. I own this. And people will love to go and support. Hey, thank you for your service. And they support their business. Yeah. So it's all good around. You know, that's what we're looking at. Yeah. I would love to help you on this. It's a, it's great. Win-win. You know, yeah. I, that's what we do is help people. How many yeah. veterans do you have access to it through that, whatever the network you're talking about? But, uh, probably hundreds or okay. more. Let me check with my, my, my partner, associate. Hey, okay. Yeah. Robert, we mentioned about a few things. Call is recorded. With your permission, I'm going to share it with my team. Is that okay? Please. 
Okay. So you have been to Pakistan. I'm switching the topic right away. You have been to Pakistan and you know, you, you say you love the hospitality and the food and everything. Give a great people. Say something about in next 30 to 59 seconds. Oh, for about Pakistan? Yeah. So that was, you took me there. We went first to Dubai for a day or two. That was amazing. And we went to Pakistan and uh, we went everywhere. Karachi, uh, Islamabad, Lahore. Yep. And I've been all over the world, the most hospitable, friendly, nicest people. We did the CEO conference, yes. all the CEOs, amazing group of entrepreneurs, super professional, very, very nice. Okay. I, I love, I knew it be nice it was 10 times better than i thought you remember this this yeah. is on my top banner this is how value i valuable that trip was wow it was great it's on my banner right on the top 2014 can you imagine this six ten years yeah, it like a week ago a month ago <laughs> let's do it again take me yeah we will do it again let's do it together the best hospitality uh friendliest people was amazing and we did some charity work there remember we helped with the soup yeah. kitchen we helped train the women yeah. For some businesses, I'll never forget. Let let me help. Uh, let me give, bring you up to speed. How much uh, you supported us? Okay. We started from a one student. We trained over two hundred thousand people. Two hundred thousand online. Our group. Yeah, in that charity, we trained over two hundred thousand people. Thousands of them are earning online. Some are making hundred dollars. Some are making thousands of dollars. Some created their little own marketing agency. They hired other people. Some they actually made so much money in Women Entrepreneurship Institute and are now they are doing business in Dubai. This is the level of seeding. So you can, and I still have a friendship with many, many of them. My yeah. whole strength is not me. I don't even, I'm the most stupid person in my team. I want to be certified <laughs> idiot. I know your book is also that. How to build, run and manage unstoppable success team. We created teams after teams after team. Even right now, whatever I'm doing is all my team. Team means together, no. everyone achieve more. It's not me. That's what you do. Build. We teach the same thing. Build team and systems. Systems and teams. The best teams, best systems. Yeah. So my team and the franchisors have a systems. That's now you go in like a hyper growth mode. Yeah. Not Can I ask a favor? I, I forgot about our charity work. That I'm so glad you reminded me. So we, yeah. Can and you send me that clip? Send me part of that uh, I, video? I will, def I will definitely do that. I will do this. You made, you made me feel good. You made me feel good today. And it's not over. There's more to it. In Karachi, when we were sitting in there after the uh, workshop with the pharma, and we went to their office in the morning, and you were talk, telling them they were how to. I will listen carefully. These ears are so miles and miles big. <laughs> okay. And you said how to people are saying negotiating. You say let them negotiate against themselves. Is that your best offer? In few minutes later, right. is the best you can do. Robert, that has generated me gazillion amount. I don't want to say it on public. However, <laughs> I really mean it. I moment somebody right now I'm in the middle of a negotiation. Right now, okay, somebody is selling for thirty nine cents one record data selling. You know, data is a big thing. I don't. Yeah. And I use those two lines. Is that your best? Can you do any better? What's the best you can do? Do you have a little room? Can you come down a little bit? Yeah. Say a few more lines. I'm going to use it. Say a few more lines. Can you come down a little bit? Is that the best price? Can you do a little bit better? Do you have some room? Can you help me out a little bit? And, you know, in real estate, as an example, if they come down from uh, 300000 to two seventy, you may save $30,000 in one minute, two minutes. And if you're doing big data, if it works. Yeah, so here is the example. Hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars. Somebody is selling one yeah. record, one phone number to me for 39 cents. Listen carefully, Robert. Now, because of those two lines, I didn't know the other lines. Now I got it too. I'm greedy. I'm, you know, I'm a hungry, stupid <laughs> person. I'm going to use it everywhere. Okay. So based on that two lines only, now my, they're offering me three cents from 39 cents to three cents multiplied by a few million on the other side. We are talking about like a, not even a 10x. I'm talking about I don't know what the X is. It's X is Amazing. Good. And now I'm going to use a few more lines. You just gave it to me. See, sneak, greedy. Don't do this. So I'm <laughs> Congratulations. I'm happy for you. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. That's the impact of those two lines sitting in their office. I can't forget that one. I'm so grateful for you. No, and as you know, in business, some businesses are complicated. I think the way you make a lot of money is simple. Keep it simple. The simple things. 
Yeah. If you do them, if you do them, if you don't do them, they don't work. Yeah, hundred hundred percent. So that's the impact you have created on this idiot. I tell people I'm an idiot, and I want to be certified <laughs> idiot. Help me out. Help me to certify. I'm I'm not there yet. Thank you. People who wow. don't know, people who don't know you, Robert, tell them it's like your. Say it again. People who don't know you, introduce yourself. Oh, I'm Robert Shevin. Uh, I'm a New York Times bestselling author. of The book you mentioned a couple of times, How Come That It's Rich and I'm Not. I think I have about 18 books. I don't really count. And uh, I love helping people. Entrepreneur, real estate investor. Um, and I really like you. Uh, I, that's why I, I love being with Muhammad. He loves to help people, help them be successful. And uh, uh, I go around the world and uh, mentor some uh, some famous people, a lot of beginners. But uh, like you said, my favorite thing is being of service. Uh, helping others uh, be successful. So, why, why is it important to be at the service instead of trying to sell them something? You know, it's funny. I tell people, I really, uh, I've never really sold anything. I just ask questions. <laughs> Nobody likes to be sold. You need this, buy this. I'm like, how can I help you? What do you need? What are you looking for? When I'm buying, why are you selling? Are you motivated? Why are you really selling? What do you need? How can I help you? Let's find a solution. Let me offer you some solutions. Uh, because in the end, uh, I've retired a few times. Is making money is great. Business is exciting. Deals are fun. You, you and I love doing deals. We love, but really, what's the most rewarding is uh, being of service, helping people. I remember you mentioned it in Faisalabad. We went to a college. There was a few thousand uh, students in front of you, and they were they couldn't understand. You tell them you are a high school dropout. Tell that story. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, I didn't do very well in high school. I didn't know I had a form of dyslexia until I was 18. So I really didn't really graduate. And uh, I remember in school, everybody was telling me, and it, you know, what's wrong with you? You can't do math. You can't do algebra. You can't do this. You can't use computers. You're stupid. What's wrong with you? And uh, very few people, almost no one ever asked, well, what can you do? <laughs> what are you good at? Every one of you, every person has a gift, maybe a couple of gifts. And, uh, that's what we need to focus on, not what you can't do, what you can do. And my mentor, who I met when I was 29, he got me started in real estate. And I said, well, I can't do real estate. I don't really have any money. I really don't have any credit. Everybody's different. Every deal's different. Uh, and he said, well, you won't be successful. I'm like, well, thank you, because I love to be right like most people. And he said two things that changed my life. He said, whatever you think, you're right. And I'm a guy. I love to be right. I'm like, thank you. I'm right. I can't do real estate. You make me feel good. Thank you. I'm right. He said, well, would you like to do real estate? I said, yes. Change the question. How can I find the money? How can I find the credit? How can I make the deal happen? And when you change the question, everything changes. So he taught me how to go find people with money and credit, like what we were talking about earlier, and find the deal, put everybody together, collaborate, win-win. It's got to be winning for everybody. You got to know what you're doing. And that's how I got started. But one sentence, one, one minute when you change your thought, everything can change. It all starts here and here. <laughs> here. And how you keep people uh, be resilient and consistent and make an incremental progress on, on the long term because it's not an overnight thing. No, uh, there's no such thing as get rich quick. What is it's very simple. You have to set a goal. And the most important goal, yeah, in a year, I want to make this business. In five years, I want to have this much money and this much success. Great. And they'll change. You can change them. But the most important goal is, what am I going to do today to move towards there? It's action, activity. Um, you're a man of action. You know, you, you, you think you're smart, but you really, you're a doer. I'd rather have a doer than a thinker. I know so many people that are still thinking about starting a business, writing a book, starting about real estate. You know them. We met them. It's been five years, seven years. They're still thinking. <laughs> Start. And once you get started, I believe whatever you believe in, God, light, uh, it comes and helps you. People will help you. Write a lot of books. People go, oh, I'm thinking for seven years. And yes, write a page today. Write a page tomorrow. <laughs> Start. Make the outline. Write it. Start. 
I, I love the that's, word. That's steal. simple. Lo I love, I'm going to steal, stole that from your permission. I don't need a thinker, I need a doer. Okay, are you a doer? Let's come on board. Yeah. And today, in today's world, it's hard to find doers. Most people do nothing and make nothing, but they're still talking and thinking. <laughs> and I tell you, you have to be smart. You have to know what you're doing. And, the, and you know, the best investment, you have to learn. You know, it's a process. Where it's real estate, starting a business, because uh, you can make mistakes. Um, but uh, I, I tell people, um, most of the times when I think too much, I get in trouble. <laughs> Paralysis of analysis. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Massive uh, action. Yes, hundred percent. So I'm going to. Uh, we are going to end this call in two minutes. And here's my question. Say yes, so I can ask the question. Yes. Okay. I need a donation of your one hour a month time where I will bring all the doers on that call and you tell them to actually take actions. That's one hour donation of your time. One hour a month. I'm committed. You have it. Okay. Thank you so much. So if you're watching this, you need to learn from my mentor. Be a greedy bastard like me. Okay. So let's learn it. <laughs> let's get everything from him. I don't really need his money. We already talked about money. You, you can see all this. Let's learn together from everything what he has. One hour a month, he already said yes. I will teach you how to get a yes from a mentor before you even ask the question. There's a secret I learned from Alex Mandozian. Because you have to earn Alex is great. Yeah. You have to earn the trust of that person first. They know they are not, you're not going to ask them something, put them into danger. That's the level of trust you have. That's the only way you can ask that question. Otherwise, you're not qualified to ask that question. Anybody. Perfect. Yeah. Robert, as always, I appreciate it. It should not be six years. Great uh, to see you. After this one, let's talk once a month on a public call on Go Live on all the platforms. And only yeah. the tours are allowed. Everybody else, go away. I don't need you in my life. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, I, love, I was going to say the same thing. I've made the mistakes of being around the wrong people. You got to be around the right people. And I love it. It's good energy like you. So thank you. It's great to be see you again, talk to you again, and uh, uh, good to be around great, positive people like from you. This side and salute from this side. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank stay you. well, stay happy. Let's talk in a couple of days and follow up. Let's make it happen. Yeah, I will. I will make through. Devil is always He's always the best. What's the next step? That's the most important. Muhammad always does. What's the next step? Let's go. Commit. Stay blessed until we speak. Last time. next time. You too. Everyone, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep smiling.